For a while now, Tesla have been making a lot of noise in the energy market. In fact, back in 2024, I thought they were getting ready to finally apply to be a full-blown energy supplier. But July 2025, we finally saw Tesla apply to Ofgem for a full UK market license to sell energy to businesses and consumers. This video, we're going to be picking apart what that means, what the energy tariffs will look like, and if this will add some serious competition to the current market leader, Octopus Energy. Tesla Energy Ventures Limited is the subsidiary of Tesla that's applied for the license, but this isn't the first time that this company has applied for an energy license to Ofgem. In fact, in 2020, they first applied for a generation license. That's the ability to sell the power to the grid or you know basically transition the power in the grid so this was for virtual power plants that tesla run uh, or controlling the way they they manage their power system now this license that they've applied for now will mean that they can supply consumers like you or businesses like your business with power and bill you for it directly rather than using a subsidiary company like they have in the past like octopus energy now this story is going to be constantly evolving and i'm going to try and follow it as close as i can so if you want to learn more about it make sure you click subscribe and that notification bell and as the story evolves i will make more videos and keep you in the loop now the information in this video is partly speculative but i do have quite a lot of inner working and deeper knowledge of the energy market and tesla i follow both companies very closely as you can probably tell by the back of my wall here it's full of tesla merch octopus merch I follow both companies very, very closely and the energy market very closely. So I'm going to be using some of the insider stuff I know about both sort of factors, how the both companies work and how the energy market works that I know. What we can already suspect is when Tesla Energy launched their first package over here for selling energy, it's going to be exclusive to Tesla owners of some sort. Now that doesn't necessarily just mean Tesla car owners. This is probably going to be Tesla Powerwall owners and Tesla car owners. So either it might start off, I suspect, they'll initially launch for people who have both, so cars and the Powerwall, and then eventually it will be rolled out to people with cars and Powerwall, um, and, and basically a mixture of the two. So you won't have to own both, but you'll have to own a Tesla product, I imagine. It's, it, would, wouldn't, it would seem very odd for them to offer it generally, and then probably roll it out to people who've also got Tesla chargers, and I suspect that the charger might take part in virtual power plants. This is because Tesla needs some form of exclusivity for, for selling power, but also they're gonna they're gonna need that kind of virtual power plant low switching demand of the cars or the power wall to really take advantage of what I suspect the packages are gonna be. And I do have an indication of what I think the first Tesla power packages and pricing might look like in this video. Now in June 2024, Octopus Energy and Tesla announced a partnership to allow customers with Tesla Powerwalls to access smart tariffs with Kraken. Now Kraken is a spin-off of Octopus Energy. In fact, it's going to be spun off even more and separated even further from Octopus Energy. But Kraken is the AI part that controls the Powerwall. Now at the moment, the Powerwall will integrate with the Kraken system to allow uh, charging during low, low prices and export during high peak prices. This gives Tesla customers the advantage of taking part of some of the Tesla and Kraken power systems on the AI side. This doesn't just mean Octopus Energy, this means Eon and a couple of energy companies that all use the Kraken AI billing system. Although Octopus are now spinning off Kraken and being a bit more separated from Octopus as a general, I can't see anything in the a Tesla announcement or the Tesla application documents to mention that they'll be using the Kraken billing system or partnering with Octopus in controlling their assets any further than what the current agreement is already agreed. So it does look like Oct uh, Octopus and Tesla are separated for this part of the energy and Tesla does have their own management tools and it appears that they are positioned to be a competitor of Octopus rather than working in partnership with them any further on this. I'd love to know what you think now down below in the comments. Do you think that Tesla might be buying the Kraken billing system and going away with their own auto bidding system? Or are Tesla gonna keep with their own proprietary system that they already have? Now some twitches I've heard through the grapevine is that Tesla will be copying something that Octopus have already done, which is Octopus currently do Drive Pack. Now, if you want to know what Drive Pack is, evnick.com forward slash energy, and there's a code there to sign up to Octopus Energy where you get to split £100 with me when you sign up. 
but DrivePack allows for £30 unlimited charging for your EV. Now, I believe that all of Tesla's packages that are going to be launching when they become an energy company will be subscription based. So they'll all be set monthly costs. So what I suspect they're going to be doing at initial launch is going further than what Octopus have done where they're saying it's £30 for the car. I'm expecting Tesla to launch for Tesla Powerwall customers and Tesla car owners £50 unlimited electricity. So rather than just giving one item like the car, they're going to combine the whole house and car. But for that, they're going to take complete control of when your car charges, complete control of when your battery charges and discharges. You will be giving them your entire control of your assets. It's very similar to what Octopus currently do with uh, Intelligent on Octopus Go, but also what they do with batteries on their Intelligent Flux tariff. Now you need to remember Tesla also have the advantage of superchargers, which means that if they are levering their battery controls of your house assets, they have 250,000 EVs sold in the UK and tens of thousands of Powerwall batteries, which means they could sell to their own supercharging network and levy quite a decent business return. Now, it's not gonna be anywhere to rival Octopus's current seven million customers, but not all of those seven million customers have controllable assets, but Octopus definitely do have one of the largest availabilities of controlling asset because they work on multiple EV chargers, multiple EVs, and multiple batteries uh, supported under their intelligent flux tariff. So Octopus definitely will have the the main bulk share here, but losing all possible all those Tesla customers and Powerwall customers will make a big impact to Octopus's business plan, but it also it's the, the control that Tesla may be able to have over those assets further than what Octopus currently already control over them. Now the big question is, will Tesla give Octopus a run for their money? Will it make maybe Octopus a little bit more competitive? Will Tesla be competing on price here? Or will they just be going for the unique part of having an all-in-one monthly package? I, for one, am quite excited to see another competitor into the energy market. Tesla are a serious competitor. They're not gonna be selling under wholesale rates like some companies that are at the moment. Octopus are definitely one of the most stable, one of the largest companies here in the UK, overtaking British Gas earlier this year. And I, for one, fully looking forward to some competition in the market, but, I'm more than happy with Octopus. If you want to sign up to Octopus, evnick.com forward slash energy. And don't forget there's a link there to sign up and you get 50 pound when you get that sign up. Now, if you want to learn more about Octopus Go Intelligent that controls your car, even if you haven't got a Tesla, click this video here. If you want to learn more about DrivePack, where you an unlimited amount of 30 pound charging, see this video here.